Good morning, Elena. It is Wednesday, September 4th at 10.51 a.m. And I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. Basically, what happened is I filmed several, several takes to respond to your video. And they all turned out like this. I switched plan, but until I switched it, I was 100% dedicated towards that one I was going after. So for a while, and pretty much other people, if that makes any sense. So here we go. I really don't feel like filming again, but I need to get it out and say the things. Now, I can definitely understand where you're coming from. You're in a very difficult position where, right now where you don't really know fully what direction to go in. Should you commit yourself to acting or dance or whatever, even though you're going to have to catch up a lot since there's a lot of people more experienced? Is that even what you really want to do, or do you want to go for something more practical and academic? And there's all these questions going on. And when you talked about it, the first thing that came to my head was, you know what, specializing and being good at something isn't always necessarily good. Um, I just want to tell you my story about how I figured out what I want to do and where I've come from. You, I think you know that I play the harp. Um, I decided that when I was six, I wanted to be a harpist. I was going to play the harp and that would be my life. And so, um, at six, you know, no one's gonna spend $2,000 for some six-year-old's harp playing whim. And so mom was like, you have to spend, you have to play the piano first and if you stick with that, then I know you can stick with harp. And so, I did. From 6 to 11, 5 years, I played piano and I studied music theory in hopes that I would get to play the harp someday. And I don't know why I was so set on the harp, it was just something about it, I really wanted it. I get that way sometimes. And so, um, when I was about 11, my mother said, alright, you played the piano for 5 years, you can play the harp, and I was so excited. And and so we went up to Massachusetts, we bought a harp, I saw the one I wanted instantly, sat down at it. And, and then I played harp for about three years. Now, you may think that, you know, I wasn't that good at harp. I'd only played it for three years when I played piano for five. But with piano, I would play practice for 10 minutes a day because my mom made me time it and I had to do 10 minutes. Whereas harp, I would do half an hour every day, focused, intense, and my teacher really, really pushed me. I, she is honestly one of my favorite teachers because she pushed me right to the point where I was still enjoying it, but I was still covering a lot of ground. I was becoming a very good harpist. And so it got to the point, about three years later, I realized I didn't really want to have harp playing be my career. I mean, I liked it and I was good at it, but I didn't want to do it for the rest of my life because honestly, sitting alone and playing an instrument is kind of boring. And I was getting to the point, I think I was 15, and she wanted to move me to a pedal harp, which is basically moving to the advanced level. Like, there's beginner, intermediate, advanced, and if you really want to become a professional, you need to go onto the pedal harp. And that was the point where I had to decide whether I wanted to invest in a $20,000, $15,000 pedal harp, or if it was time to find something else. And this was around the time I was, like, I, I wanted to do acting. I had the inclination to do acting for some reason. And... And at that point, I was like, you know what, I, I don't want to be a professional harpist. I was good, I could have gone for it, but it's, it's not what I wanted to do. I wasn't enjoying it that much anymore. And as much as I loved my teacher, and some ran by, ooh, in the lessons, I knew it wasn't what I was going to do professionally. Even though I mastered something and came from something, it doesn't mean that's what I really wanted to do. Sometimes I feel like if I'd started something younger, I would've gotten tired of it in a certain way. I don't know if that makes sense, or if it's even true. It could be that I just wasn't meant to be a harpist, but I was good at it. I mean, she wanted to, she thought I could go professionally for it. These are just kind of my thoughts, my experience. I mean, I was trying to figure out what I was gonna say in this video, and I really can't, like, offer up a solution. That's not how life works. You're gonna have to go on and figure out for yourself what your future is. And I think we're all curious to see what's gonna happen. You most of all, probably. Don't worry too much about it. Don't feel badly about not being special or above average. Because honestly, that's not gonna make you happy. That's the only thing I can really think of to say. 
I mean, I really hope that you're able to, you aren't held back from what you want to do by your lack of experience or, or by just not being that special. I mean, as long as you can love what you're doing, do what you love, it's all good. And I will see you soon.